Hello and welcome to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys and welcome to the preview of Valencia against Barcelona in the Copa del Rey semi-final. This of course is the decisive second leg. Whoever comes out of this on top will be in the final and will face either Sevilla or Leganes in that big Copa del Rey final in Spain. We go into this game of course with a 1-0 lead from that first leg. A very slender lead it has to be said. It's all to play for at the Mestalla tomorrow night and we're going to be going over everything you need to know ahead of this massive Copa del Rey semi-final. But first of all guys, as always, we are going to start with your predictions and I asked earlier on what your feelings were going to the Mestalla, what sort of result were you expecting and I think a lot of you understand this is going to be a very, very difficult game, a very difficult place to go, they're a good side, they've got a good coach, they set themselves up in the right way, 46% of you right now believe they will win by one goal tomorrow and as of right now that is the majority vote, win by two goals very close as well, 41% but I would certainly take tomorrow winning by a goal, that would see us through it. If we score at the Mestalla tomorrow night, Valencia in turn would then need three goals to progress. The away goals rule is used in the Copa del Rey, so one goal tomorrow would give us a massive chance of progressing to the next round. And as always, guys, here are the times right around the world in the Copa del Rey tomorrow night kickoff times. And as we know in the Copa del Rey, the kickoff times really aren't very good. It kicks off actually at 9.30 local time. I'm sure you all remember last week, you know, the kickoff at the camp now, very late. It was raining. The camp now nearly half empty on the night. Valencia want to avoid that and they've actually discounted tickets to try and get the Mestalla full and rocking ahead of this semi-final match and it is believed tomorrow that the Mestalla will be pretty much full and they're going to be very much behind their side trying to will them on, trying to make it a really hostile atmosphere and of course we've just come out of that situation. We had a really hostile atmosphere on Sunday against Espanyol. We failed to get the points there but I would wager the pitch is going to be significantly better and the conditions are going to be significantly better than that game. And I think personally, we've got a good chance here of scoring and getting to that final, seeing off Valencia and getting through this one. I did mention the other semi-final and we will find out tonight who we could potentially face in the final of that game. Sevilla take on Leganes at the Ramon Sanchez Pijuan tonight and the tie is pretty finely poised right now. One all it is between the two teams at Leganes. Sevilla managed to get their away goals so right now I'd say they're slight favourites to reach the final but Leganes are doing incredible things this season in the Copa del Rey knocking out Real Madrid and could they yet make it to the final? We will find out that tonight and I think the big question with tomorrow is obviously Valencia very good team. It is a semi-final match. We want to be up for it. We want to reach the final. Of course we do. But I think there are some big questions of Valverde. How much is he going to risk in this game? And I think we really have to bear in mind that Chelsea game. And I keep mentioning it simply because it's a colossal game for me. 20th of February, the Champions League knockout stage, round of 16. It's a first leg match. It's away from home. We need to get a good result in that game. And I just think everything this month in these kind of games needs to be geared towards that one. The Champions League for me is colossal. This is a semi-final of of course it is, but we still have to be cautious and Valverde has some very, very big decisions to make and we're going to be going over the decisions about his selection. I think the first player that we have to start with tonight and somebody who is included in the squad for tomorrow's game, Gerard Piquet. Now reportedly earlier on in the week he suffered a knee injury. I think he did get an injury against Espanyol. I think it was more of an impact injury, maybe not something to do with the muscle or the knee, but an impact injury. He is back in training. He trained with the first team today, but the big question is, do we risk him in this game? And that is the big question. Umtiti is fit. He's not suspended. He will start at centre-back tomorrow against Valencia, but who will join him? Do we play Pique or do we start instead with Yerry Mina? I personally think in this kind of game, even though it's a semi-final, we don't want to be risking Pique. We do not want him to be aggravating that very slight injury because, like I say, if he were to miss that Chelsea game or even further in the season than that, would it really be worth it? We have got to be putting everything into that game and I think, why not play Mina. At the end of the day, we signed Mina in January, we brought him in as a Barcelona player. We could have waited until the summer, we could have really forced Mascherano to stay. We didn't do that, we brought Mina in now. Does he have the trust of the coach? Does he have the trust of the club? That is what we're going to find out. I personally, yes, it's throwing him at the deep end, but at times when you're developing players, when you're blinging players through, you've got to take some risks. I would play Mina, I would not risk PK. I think it's far too much of a risk. We cannot expect him to play after just getting that knock. You don't want him to be out for two weeks and 
miss that Chelsea game, I would put Mina in there, I would say to him, you have my confidence, now go out there and show me why I deserve to have faith in you, because he needs to prove himself now, his first game it'll be for Barcelona, his first game ever in European football, and it's a massive, massive occasion if he gets the nod, and I think if he doesn't get it now, when exactly is he going to get it? There's a chance he's going to play, of course, at the weekend against Atafe, but with PK suffering right now, Vermaelen now injured, now is the best time for me to say to Yerry Mina, you've got all my confidence, because if you keep leaving him out, he's yet to appear for a single minute for Barcelona, Valverde hasn't played him at all yet, he's going to start losing confidence bit by bit, and I think that could severely affect him, so I would certainly try him out tomorrow. And the other big question for me, obviously you've got Lionel Messi is very much likely to return alongside Luis Suarez in our attack, but the big question for me as well, Andres Iniesta, what exactly is going to happen with Iniesta, because you would obviously say, if we want to win this game, you've got to play Iniesta, which is fair enough, we want him on the pitch whenever he's available, but you have to really exercise some caution, he started and played the full game on Sunday against Espanyol, and that in itself was just days after he played 73 minutes in the first leg of this tie, that was on Thursday, and just days before that, that, he played the full game against Alaves. That's nearly three games in one week for Iniesta. Somebody who's past his 30s now, can't play every minute of every game. We really, really do not want him to run into injuries, to run into fatigue. That is not the time for this. Again, looking ahead at that Chelsea game, we don't want Iniesta anything wrong with him. So like PK, I personally wouldn't risk him tomorrow night. I would have him on the bench, absolutely no doubt about that. But at starting lineup, I wouldn't put him in there. I wouldn't make him play yet another game, because I think that's too many in too short space of time for somebody right now who we can't afford to mess with. But in terms of Valencia and how they're going to line up tomorrow, we spoke in the first leg about them missing a host of first team players, a lot of injuries, some suspensions, and they do have a lot of players back, key players as well, back in this game. Garay is back at centre-back, Kondogbia returns, Gued is very, very exciting attacking player, somebody who causes a lot of problems in the La Liga game at Mestalla. He is back for this game and all of those players are in contention to start the game tomorrow. And by no means should we underestimate Valencia. This is going to be a very, very difficult game. We're going to need a strong team. We're going to need to play well to win this game. I absolutely understand that. But what I would say, though, about Valencia is I personally think in the last few weeks or so, they have just fallen off just slightly. Just slightly in the league. Under Marcelino, they started magnificently. They were playing fantastic football. They had so much energy, creativity. They were scoring goals. And I just think in the last few weeks, they haven't quite been at their best. They looked a bit lethargic. They've looked a bit tired. Maybe fatigue and injuries and suspensions are catching up with them. You know, if you look at the weekend's game against Atletico Madrid, they went to the Wanda Metropolitana, they lost that game 1-0, they really failed to break down Atletico, they looked like they had no idea how to score in that kind of game, and that loss to Atletico actually made it three successive defeats in the league for Marcelino's men. So they're not really bang in form right now, Valencia, they're not really as confident as they were back in November, but even that performance and that display against Valencia, even though it was one all at the Mestalla, which by the way, that scoreline would be enough to take us through, we still should have won that game. And you all know, if it wasn't for that messy goal that went over the line that wasn't given, we would have won that game. It was an absolutely brilliant performance from us in that first half. We controlled things. We had, you know, controlling the tempo. We were pushing them back. We were really forcing them back inside their own half. And if we can replicate that kind of performance, I think definitely we're going to win this game. Valencia are not at the same level. We've been a bit iffy in the last few weeks. You know, we weren't brilliant against Espanyol. The conditions played a part in that. We weren't brilliant in the first leg of this game. And we didn't really play that well either against Alaves when we just scraped through that one. So we've got a few points to prove as well. And that's where I think Valencia Valverde's team selection tomorrow is going to be very, very exciting. I think we did most of our resting against Espanyol. A lot of players were left out. You know, the likes of Sergi Roberto, Jordi Alba, they're going to come back in for sure. But I think, like I say, I personally wouldn't risk PK at centre-back. I think Mina deserves his chance. Come in, see how he does. And I personally as well wouldn't start Iniesta simply because he's played too many games in too short space of time. We can't risk him either. And when you look at the squad, you know, the likes of Andre Gomez has returned. Uh, to Stegen, of course, Semedo, PK, Rakitic, Busquets. Gets Iniesta, Suarez, Messi, Silas, and Coutinho, Paulinho, Paco, Alba, Roberto, Gomez, Vidal, Umtiti, and also Yerry Mina. So pretty much a full squad of players that Valverde choose from. Obviously Dembele, Vermaal, and those kind of players still coming back and still recovering from injury. But this is the team that I would personally start in this game if I was in Esto Valverde. Obviously Silas is going to play. He's the cup goalkeeper. He is going to start in goal. I would go with Alba, bring Roberto back in at right back. Obviously Semedo is not going to play in this kind of game. Valverde took him off against Valencia. He didn't really seem happy 
with Semedo right now. If it was me personally, I would love to see Semedo and Roberto on that right-hand side. We saw it away at Betis. It worked really, really well in that kind of game, but it's not really going to happen in this one. Valverde doesn't really seem to want to go with that. Again, Umtiti and Mina at centre-back. Obviously, it's a risk, but sometimes you've got to go down that road. And I think, personally, Andre Gomez is going to come back into midfield. Obviously, we haven't seen him for a few weeks now. He's been suffering with an illness, but he's going to come back in, I think, from the start, personally. Valverde likes using him in those wider roles, particularly in the bigger games when he can just have a bit of discipline in that midfield, a little bit of control. Gomez on the right, perhaps. Coutinho, I would put then on the left in place of Andres Iniesta. Busquets and Ratic in the midfield. And that way we sort of set up very similar to how we did against Valencia in that game back in November in La Liga when we really forced them back, we pushed them back and we gave them everything we possibly could. What you do instead, you put Coutinho there as an attacking player. On the day back in November, it was Paulinho who was pushing forward. I'd be very, very surprised to see Coutinho and Paulinho in this team. I think that would be too offensive, particularly in a away game at Mestalla. And then, of course, you've got Suarez and Messi up front who can deliver that goal. If we get that goal, like I said earlier on, we then give ourselves a massive advantage, a massive chance of progressing. Valencia would need three goals if we so much as get one. So we've got a great chance in this game. As long as we don't let Valencia into the game, let them score first. You don't really want to invite the crowd at Mestalla to get on your back. You don't really want them to get behind the team. You want to kill the momentum very early on. You want to kill the atmosphere and get this tie dead and buried and get it won as early as we possibly can because then of course we can rest some players Valverde can do some things with the team and we can make sure we make the Copa del Rey final I am going to go I was really really torn between two scorelines either 2-1 Barca or 1-0 obviously on the night we want to win every game but I would certainly right now take 1-0 we progress we can rest some players I wouldn't risk PK if we get 1-0 without those players I'd be very very happy indeed so leave all your thoughts and your predictions down below guys what are your lineup predictions would you risk PK would you risk Iniesta let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and as always leave your score predictions too I will see you tomorrow for reaction from this game I am excited for it and I am confident too thank you for joining me but until then as always Vasca El Barca oh.